Zayn over here. Today I'm going to show you how to run, play Nintendo DS games on Ubuntu. Right now I am currently running Ubuntu 16.04 on here, but this should work with Ubuntu 15 and 14 as well with one small step that I will explain in a minute. But the first step is to go on to your web browser and you're going to want to click the link in my description where I, um, the first link in my description and it'll bring you to this page after going through a short ad fly page. So for 16 all you have to do is click here on the available software center and choose apt URL and click OK. Doing this, you just click install, and you're gonna it's gonna need you to authenticate you. So you just type in your password and let it download. And after that, it should be installed on 15. And 16, I mean. And so now on 15, though, one small other si simple step is after clicking on the download here. <coughs> It will open up your software center and ask you to install there. I will show a quick picture now. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, not much else to it. So after you do that, I'll, um, you can see, see if it downloads correctly and you can search here and see as it is right here, DSSUMME pretty straightforward. So the next step is to download ROMs for DSUME to play. So you're going to want to go to your web browser again. I'm just going to use Chrome so I don't mix up the two here. And you are going to, uh, this link was also in my description, this next one here. And you're just going to want to go to your uh, quick ad fly page again and there may be some pop-ups that you're going to want to just exit out of and here the nice reliable source that I always use to download all of my DS games for here you can pretty much find anything here um, we'll do an example uh, Pokemon Black version not a bad game I played this on the DS when I had one but pretty straightforward now, all I have to do is click download, um, makes you wait 10 seconds, some uh, awkward ads usually pop up. And after sitting through 10 seconds of awkward ads and that, it will start downloading. And now after it finishes downloading, I will drag it to my desktop and we can close the ads. And there it goes. Should be finishing up now. And you can just drag it here. So now all you have now you what you're gonna want to do is to just open up your file, extract it to your desktop, make a normal zip file. And all you have to do to start up the ROM is click here, and it will launch. DSMUME as its default launch. And as you can see, it will start playing. And here's black. So you can see, uh, you can pause, play. You can configure all configs here. You can add it a controller. And so on. Controls are pretty straightforward. If you want to change them, there would also be in the config here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe if you want to see more.